All right, now I'd like to show you how to find an equation on a line parallel and perpendicular. We already just showed you parallel. Now I want to do perpendicular. And I'm going to try to do this real quick. So if I want to do perpendicular, one thing you guys notice is parallel lines have exactly the same slope. Perpendicular lines, what we wrote down in our notes, is perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So before I write down uh, my equation, I need to figure out what is the opposite reciprocal slope of 3 eighths. Well, the reciprocal of 3 eighths is 8 over 3. And then the opposite, what I mean by opposite, is it has to have the opposite sign. So if this, since this is positive, my new slope is going to be negative. So I rewrite my slope as y equals a negative 8 over 3 x plus b. So it's just like I did for parallel. The only difference is the slope is different. Here, the slope has to be the same. Here, the slope has to be a negative or opposite reciprocal. All right? Now, we're going to follow the exact same process. You take your two points, and you plug them in and solve for b. So I'm plugging negative 10 in for y equals a negative 8 thirds times 4 plus b. I'll change that over to 1 just so I can uh, notice when I'm multiplying my fractions. And this is not what I was hoping for, but we'll go and work with it. So we have a negative 10 equals 4 times ne uh, negative 8 would be negative 32 divided by 3. So it would be negative 10 equals, um, I'll just write it out, negative 32 over 3 plus b. This can also be writ written as uh, negative 10 and 2 thirds. Okay, then I'm going to add 10 and 2 thirds to both sides. And what you notice is these two are going to cancel out, and I'm left with 2 thirds. So my B equals two-thirds. So now when I rewrite my perpendicular equation, I'm rewriting the same equation, but I know I have to use my new slope. So y equals a negative eight-thirds x and then plus two-thirds. Hopefully you guys can now see the difference between <coughs> perpendicular and parallel. And the main difference is with the slope. The slopes have to be different. All right, between a parallel line and a perpendicular line. But all we do is the process is we just take our points and we plug them in. And this is using the slope intercept method. So that's how you find an equation of a line parallel and perpendicular to y, three to an equation that passes through a point using the slope intercept method.